You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Jigamic Games for review. Wait, so, it's, a, it's a challenge? Yeah. People take rubber bands and mm -hmm. uh, put them around watermelons. Yeah. And the more and more and more and you put more and more rubber bands. Yeah. And then eventually it explodes. Come on. The rubber band explodes. The watermelon. No. So how does your... Well, give me this story again. You were sleeping no. last night. You were in bed. Oh, I bought a beautiful, gorgeous, tasty, ripe watermelon at the store last okay. week. Okay, all right. Sitting up on the counter mm -hmm. in a plastic mm -hmm. bag. In a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. So I'm sound asleep. Mm -hmm. Snoring away. Mm -hmm. All right. And all of a sudden I hear, like, Niagara Falls. <laughs> Water. Gushing all over my kitchen in my mm -hmm, apartment. Mm -hmm. So I startled. I jump up. I'm thinking that there's a water pipe break or you something. Got a, I was you got a main break you. shirt. Yeah, I would have mm -hmm. come over. You didn't I answer. Could. The watermelon mm -hmm. burst. Without rubber bands. No rubber bands. Huh. I've never heard of that. It's it was all. I think it came down, leaked in through the shop. I hope you don't mind that smell. Did it was smell? pretty rancid. Mm -hmm. So you had so, a. So you cleaned it all up like that? It or? was disgusting, oh, LPS right. Dave. Okay. Listen though, do I win the watermelon, the rubber band challenge, or do I lose the rubber band challenge? I think not using any rubber bands, you win the challenge. Thank you. Whew. Boy, that was exciting. And all right, gross. well we got to get going here, Butch. Mm. I didn't know what the we was going to take so long. Mm. We are doing a game from Jigamic. And really? thanks to them for sending this game called Tutti Fruit. I get it now. Wait a second. We're talking about watermelon. It's a fruit. Mm -hmm. And there's even a watermelon screaming right there. Hey, LPS Dave. Yeah. You know what you forgot? No. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. And today we're going to check out Tutti Fruity from Jigamic. No rancid watermelons in this one, I'll be honest. None. Ages four plus, two to six players, and uh, you know what? I've actually played this. What? Yes, it's a fun, quick, easy game to play. And it's best to play with lots of people, like four. Oh. But, uh, but we can play it with just one. I will show everybody. The game packed with vitamins. Really? You know, let me. it's hard to read here. Let me get the little booklet out of here. Do you think they call them vitamins? They could call them vitamins. Mm-hmm. The other day, didn't I say soldering in a video? Soldering, yes. And then I was watching a car show, and guess what the guy says? You just solder it. Really? Yeah. So That's like that aluminum. Yeah. This is an aluminum box. All right, so here we mm -hmm. go. Here is the contents. 48 fruit tiles printed on two sides, so they're two-sided. Oh. Okay. And then... Uh, yeah, Dave, you just yeah. picked up one. It's watermelon. It is. Mm -hmm. Careful. Oh, I just dropped up another watermelon here. Oh, uh, that's bad. Is it bad? Mm -hmm. I can't imagine why it exploded. The players have tiles printed on both sides in front of them, representing fruit halves. There are a total of 16 mm -hmm. different fruits, and there are six of each fruit in the game. Hmm. Your aim is to collect as many tiles as possible by quickly piling up identical fruits. Hmm. Everyone plays at the same time. You therefore need to be quick and accurate to obtain the highest pile without making a mistake. So to collect as many tiles as possible, the tiles are spread out in the center of the table. So the key there is quick and accurate. Not a good combination for me. Well, you can watch. Mm -hmm. Because when you have a bunch of people grabbing, it becomes more, you know... Funner. It is, because mm -hmm. your hands are hitting each other, you're going for the same piece of fruit kind of thing. Those are interesting choices for fruit, LPS Dave. Yeah, all right. So we have what I think is a fig, mm -hmm, right? A mm -hmm, fig. Mm -hmm. This is a brain. I'm not sure that's what a brain, that is. Fruit that, brain. That's some kind of purple fruit, maybe a pomegranate. You think that's a pomegranate that's purple? Mm. It could be something. I don't know what I that know. is. <laughs> this is a pineapple. Mm -hmm. What we have is a could be an apple, but it looks like a tomato almost. Strawberry. Kiwi. I don't know if it's a strawberry. Mm -hmm, yeah, maybe mm -hmm, it is a strawberry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a tomato. That's got to be a tomato. Interesting choice in a fruit game. Yeah, and this is, uh, I don't know what that is. Papaya. Was. You think that's a papaya? Mm -hmm. And that is a cherry. Hmm. So do we get a coconut? A coconut. A coconut. There's an hmm. apple. Do mm -hmm. we get them all? We still don't know what this is. No. What's that up there on the top there on PSD? This here? This is a... Rutabaga? I don't know. Mm -mm. This is an orange, right? Mm-hmm. A pear, a kiwi, a lot, a lot I think we got a watermelon, yeah. So mm -hmm. 
They can help us out in the comments. Watch out there. for the water, moment. When the game starts, each player randomly takes a tile. So I will take a tile, okay? And I'll show you how to play this. Let's just say you took that tile mm -hmm, here. That's mm -hmm. just your tile, but Tomato. it's really not your tile. Now, uh, the player uh, ran from and looks at both sides. So I'm looking at both sides. I mm -hmm. see this and I see this, right? Good. Can you see it? I'm not even looking at the camera. Mm -hmm. And then each pair looks for a tile on the table which has a fruit identical to the one shown on the tile he is holding. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this and I'm going pair, okay? Right? Do you have to match both sides? No. Mm. Now I pick up the tile places on top of the first so that the identical fruits are facing each other. So I'm going to go like this. Okay, and now I have this option, and my goal now is to keep collecting like this, and I'm building this pile in my hand, and I can go either Whoa. side. You get it? That's why they're two-sided. So what if gonna, you have small hands? You're going to look, well, small hands, or you can pause. probably hold the pile. That's why it's hard for you to play. Mm -hmm, huh? mm -hmm. All right, so that is the game. I wonder if that's a cantaloupe right there on top, LPS Dave. <sighs> this here? Mm -mm, this here? Copy your stack. Oh, this one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a, yeah, it could be a cantaloupe. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like a cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. It does. This maybe is your pomegranate. I don't know. That could be the pomegranate. Cactus uh, pear. Cactus pear, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Uh, figure two, fruit to fruit connection. That's what it's called. Oh, yeah, they have nice pictures in the back here. Okay, so here is the nice picture. Good so I laid them all out. always have good pictures. Really good game mechanics and pictures. All right, so this mm -hmm. goes to that. And then that goes to that, and you're building the biggest pile possible wow and then you count them up so this is how you determine who wins okay now i see what you're saying when you got four or eight different hands flying in there that could get pretty violent okay so a player with a pile of tiles two or more looks for a tile on the table on which one of the fruits corresponds either to the fruit at the top or at the bottom of the pile mm -hmm. tiles are always stacked up with identical fruits facing each other Important, the players can turn over the tiles on the table at any time to reveal another fruit. So, uh -huh. let's just say you are struggling here and you cannot find one of these even though we can. You can flip them over as you're doing this with your hand and see if the other side matches. And you'll see as the game starts dwindling down and you take more and more off the table, you're doing more flipping because someone's flipping them one way, you're flipping them back the uh -huh. other way. And it gets to be pretty fun. It's like part match game and memory game as well, huh? It is. You can mm -hmm. play this on your own if you want, just to do this and kind of match up and move as quick as you can. And then the more you get, the harder it is to hold it in your hand, like mm -hmm. you were saying. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I almost lost my pile. Are you allowed to set it down? I don't know. Let's mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. I think we pretty much played this one, huh? Pretty cool. Ending yes, the game. Dave. When there are no tiles left in the center of the table or none of them correspond to the player's piles, the game ends. The highest pile of tiles is checked first of all, so you have to check. Mm -hmm. It needs to be ensured that all fruits facing each other in the pile are identical. So you could be playing like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got that one. Oh, I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. Oh, I win. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Does this match this? No. Uh -huh. No. Okay. Uh -huh. So no cheating. Okay, uh, uh, facing or not, if the player has not made a mistake, he wins the game. Otherwise, the second highest pile is checked. If there are no mistakes, the player wins. Otherwise, the following piles are checked until a winner is found. If there is a draw between two or more winning players with the same pile height, the game needs to be replayed. Whoa, There's I thought you were going to say arm wrestle. All the instructions mm -hmm. for posterity's sake. Yes. Imagine, I was thinking about this the other day. Hmm. Ten years from now. Ten years. Ten years from now. One decade. My game, for some reason, winds up, uh, I give it to somebody as a gift. Mm. They decide they don't want it anymore. They lose the booklet. Bye-bye mm -hmm. booklet. And then someone gets in there. How do you play this game? Hmm. Hmm. They come to this video. They will see that I held up the instructions. Yeah. And they will have learned how to play the game. Isn't that fascinating? You're the guy that's going to help all those people that find games at thrift shops and garage sales and get it as gifts from Auntie yes. Norny. Auntie Norny, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so let mm. me just quickly do this with my own eyes, and we'll see how far I can get. I'll have to make a couple stacks. Can now, I imagine? no timer, right? <laughs> Lots of hands coming in? No time limit. No time limit. So I'm taking my first one. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You can count them and say the fruits or do whatever you want, but here we, we go. Got one, two, three, four. Come on, OPS. Five. 
Six. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thanks for your motivation. Seven. Eight. <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. It takes time. Work, 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 work. I'm working. Nine. Uh, mm-hmm. Coconut. Ten. Uh, Nine. Ten. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm screaming like him. Uh, mm-hmm. Eleven. Uh, 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 Somebody else uh, took them all off yesterday. You're out. I got two. No, I got to flip and find mm-hmm. him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Where are you? Oh, there we are. Twelve. Thirteen. I got to put my pile down soon. Fourteen. Okay, let me start with this one here. It's getting too big for my hand. Oh. Now, normally, you know, when you have multiple players, your pile's not going to be that big. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so here we go. You might break a finger every once in a while, though. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Move quick. Move quick. You probably see it. I don't see it. I don't see it off the S, Dave. I'm ah. lost. Okay. You're lost? You don't mm-hmm. you don't understand the game. Oh, I understand it, but I'm just blinded by your speed. Oh, thanks. And accuracy. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Woo! Tomato. Whoa. Strange fruit. Mm-hmm. Ooh, who, who, who? I see one. There he is. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this guy again. This guy's killing me. You're killing me. He's the stumper. He's the stumper, is right. Ah, there he is. You see why they're all mixed up now? Because you never know. You can't rely on the color. Have I made any errors? It's like blinding out people. Stack two. I can't keep track. I think I could do this whole thing. I'm going to get rid of them all. Here we go. Let's just go for it. We're here now. Hmm. Aha. Mm-hmm. Oh, not one of these. Not again. Seems like there's more of some than others. I don't know. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Do we see them all? Are we stumped? I think we're stumped. Oh. Which probably can happen. All right, well, I think you get it. That's a pretty good stack, LPS Dave. Yeah, so here's my two stacks. Mm hmm. So now you see when you're playing with multiple people how cool this really is. Mm hmm. Did you eat any of that watermelon, by the way? I'm wondering how it tasted. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, it bad? Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell. All right. I think I need to go to the groomer. My, it got in my fur because I slipped in it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There you go. It is the game of Tutti Fruity, and uh, you'll just have to take a bath later, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. I'll take a bath. From Jigamic Games. And by the way, yeah, you haven't mentioned you hanging out with the guys, so what, you're, you're done hanging out with them over there? No, I've been busy. Oh, so you don't hang out with them anymore. Well, or they just don't call you. Boy, I've been really busy LPS day. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you want to see more games from Jigamic, look they in that description. They my calls. They did. Mm-hmm. Look in the description for a playlist, or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Show. And my texts. Tutti Fruity. And my emails. They just ignore you. And my visits. Hmm. And when I knock on their door at home. When they see you come mm-hmm. up, the sign flips over closed. Mm-hmm. 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 No more Jigamic. I- I'm kind of thinking you smell pretty bad. That's probably has a lot to do with that. That may be it. Later. Bye-bye, everybody. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.